When we check in, the last thing we want to worry about is what's going on behind the scenes at the hotel. Like sneaky staff who know all about the guests' affairs, major security flaws inside rooms, and disgusting glasses that can make you sick. Literally. Not to mention the questionable privacy of your bathroom. Yep, someone else could be using your toilet. Today, we're spilling all the dirty secrets of hotels. So sit back and relax, or maybe don't. Never fully trust hotel room safes. Apparently, the staff knows this universal code that can open any safe in the building, so it's like they've got a master key to all your valuable stuff. The idea behind it is convenience. If you forget the code to your safe, employees can easily rescue your things. But can we trust them? A survey done in 2019 showed that 43% of housekeepers confessed to swiping guests' personal belongings at least once in their career. Surprisingly, jewelry is actually the least likely item to be taken, even if customers have already checked out. But cash and technology are the top temptations. If you want to keep your things safe during your stay, there's another option. You can put your cash in those safe deposit boxes at the front desk in the lobby. They're better protected from curious eyes and usually have cameras around. Plus, only a few members of the staff can access them. Even if you take all the care in the world of your safety, I gotta be honest here, hotel staff can get up close and personal with your stuff whenever they want. Many housekeepers have already confessed online that it's a pretty common practice to go through and use guests' belongings. Even your toilet is not that private. Housekeepers might sneak in for a quick pit stop, especially if the staff bathroom is far away. No, they're not allowed to do it, but hey, when nature calls, you gotta answer, right? Your bed isn't that private either. Housekeepers, like everyone else, have cell phones and like to have fun, so don't be naive. A photo of your super gross, dirty bed could easily end up in some group chat labeled nastiest sweets ever. Also, if housekeepers are exhausted and have enough time, they might take a nap in one of the rooms. Again, they're not supposed to, but many do it anyway. Hotel employees are basically obliged to maintain secrecy. They can't reveal any info about guests, not even if it is the guest's wife or a husband who's calling. Well, unless it's required by law. The staff don't really have any moral obligation here. I mean, hotels are businesses, not marriage counselors, right? If you leave behind something in your room after a rendezvous, don't wait for a call. Returning items left behind could accidentally spill the beans on a guest's affair, and no staff member wants to be responsible for causing an eventual breakup. Now, I'm wondering if hotels have a code name for cheaters. I mean, fancy resorts have a whole secret language going on. For example, gray out means there are sharks in the water close to the shore. Hoo-ha is the same as to go as fast as possible, and pig in the pen is used when a guest is stuck in the parking ramp. People also get nicknames. Cubs are new employees, and Lobby Lizard is your go-to guy during busy check-in and check-out times. And VIP 11 is royalty, literally. But trust me, you never ever want to be called a peach. Between us, this basically means you're a very difficult guest, and I'm being polite here. These codes can differ from hotel to hotel, state to state, and even between countries. Take Dubai, for instance. At the Medina Jumeirah Resort, they have one code called the 2010. It's like a kind reminder for the staff to give a nod or a glance when the guest is 20 steps away, and make eye contact or engage in a friendly chat when they're 10 steps away. These hidden codes are basically there so that guests can chill out and have a smooth stay without any worries. Now that you know this secret, just a heads up. If you ever hear an employee say code B on the radio, I'd recommend getting out of bed right away. That stands for bugs. It could be ants, roaches, bees, or the worst nightmare ever, bed bugs. Every year, more than 80% of hotels get invaded by these parasitic insects. These sneaky critters aren't picky about where they crash, from cheap motels to luxury suites. No place is safe. On average, hotels deal with about seven bed bug infestations every five years. That's a whole lot of unwanted guests. But one thing we know about these bugs is that they're masters of hide and seek. They snug in cracks around the bed, headboard, or mattress seams, 
just waiting for you to sleep so they can feast on your blood. Waking up covered in itchy, painful bites is bad enough, but it gets worse. If you end up in a bug bed infested room, you might bring home more than just memories. These bugs can hitch a ride on your clothes or in your suitcase and set up camp in your home. The good news is that you can take simple precautions, like packing your clothes in zipper bags. Another idea is to use a hard shell suitcase since it's more difficult for bed bugs to attach to rigid materials than to fabric. Before you jump straight into a hotel bed, be on the lookout for any signs of bed bugs, like little dark spots on bed sheets or mattresses. Oh, and by the way, those spots are their excrement. Yuck! When you get back home, unpack your bags in the bathroom on bright surfaces. That way you can quickly see if any creepy bugs have hitched a ride. Don't even think about using hotel glasses. I'm talking about the ones you can find inside your suite, probably next to the sink. Usually, dirty glasses in rooms are not replaced with clean ones, not even between guests. Keep in mind that housekeepers are really rushed for time. On a busy day, some of them clean around 20 rooms. To save time, they often just use a towel or sponge to quickly wipe the glasses in the room before putting them back for the next guest. Wait, it gets even worse. A former hotel employee exposed a disturbing practice in his tell-all book, Heads in Beds. Staff also use heavy-duty cleaning products like furniture polish to wipe such glasses. That's why they might look shiny and all, but the problem is that your water might come with a side of chemicals. If you're not convinced yet and still want to use those glasses, just know that an undercover journalist caught a five-star hotel housekeeper using the same brush for both cups and the toilet. Come on, that's nasty! So, next time you stay in a hotel, just promise me you'll bring your reusable bottle with you, okay? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.